Let's take a look at shares of Disney. Because Bank of America, in our call of the day, they reiterate Disney as a buy. They upgrade their EPS estimates. That's the real news because the price target stays the same. And that is $191, Jim Labenthal, the farmer Jim. Uh, that's 44% upside from here. You, you buy that? You own it. Um, I do. I do. I'm positive on Disney. I have to point out that the stock really fell out of bed in November when that third quarter earnings report came out that Bob Chapek telegraphed w would be terrible. And the, the problem is, is when a company is on a tear and then has a bad quarter, it usually takes a couple of quarters to get back on track. You had a very good fourth quarter report. I'm talking calendar fourth quarter. If you get another good first quarter report here, I think it's off to the races. And I think you will have that because we know the theme parks were doing really well. Listen, if you want to see a beneficiary of inflation, go to a, a Walt Disney theme park. You'll see it writ large there. And the streaming business, you know, nobody's really talking about it, but it's just chugging along. So I do think you'll get a good first quarter report here, and that will take it out of the penalty box. Well, I mean, everybody's been talking about the streaming business. Isn't it like concerns about the growth of the streaming <laughs> business from here? Is the whole reason why the stock hasn't done anything of late? What do you mean no one's talking about it? Had a, you know, the last earnings report, which is all we've got to go on right now, it blew the numbers out of the water on the streaming business. I mean, you know, I feel like people want to be negative and then they craft the story around it. I'm just reporting the results. The last quarter they reported, they blew the numbers out in terms of the streaming subscribers. Right, but I think the issue has been how much more money is Disney going to have to spend to continue to have that subscriber growth? And that's on content and other major ex things on the expense line. I mean, those are the issues. Yep. Yeah, well, we've been talking about that, though, since December of 2020, when they did their analyst four-hour report on what Disney streaming was going to be. Uh, that's not new news, spending. Joe, he, Joe, he doesn't Jimmy, want to hear, Jim... hear any of it. No, no well, listen, when, when you're talking about streaming, you, you have to be somewhat puzzled why Disney went to the model where they've got a lower subscription that now has advertising on it. It's something that Disney really didn't want to do. Um, and it, it just kind of makes me think when I'm looking at streaming, I'd rather go with Netflix, which is actually cheaper on a valuation basis right now relative to Disney and has not given up that prime position in their offering uh, with no ads. Yeah. Jim's not going to be knocked off his tractor today. I mean, he's made that point pretty clear no matter what you throw, <laughs> no matter what you throw at him. He, uh, he just refuses. He just refuses.